Hello everyone, welcome to IMT Gaming and welcome back to Banjo Tooie. Last time we were explo exploring around Jolly Rogers Lagoon. As you can see, we've uncovered Atlantis. So I guess people can say that it's not much of a legend anymore. But yeah, we're still checking out the underwater area since I wasn't sure where I should go next. As I is. I had managed to unlock the way into one of the worlds I've been really anxious to get into, but I'm not quite ready to go in there, and I just kind of wanted to get this over with. Since you guys know how I feel about underwater levels, good or not. And apparently, you can attack these things. All except this one. Yeah, this thing is obviously a real seaweed. But yeah, let's check out more of this place. The Seaweed Sanctum, I think this place was called. Cool, there are more eggs I can get up there. I'm going to be needing them because there's actually a boss down here that I haven't faced yet. I'm kind of afraid to say his name because I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't want to get in trouble for it. Let's see. Oh, whoops. There we go. Yeah, I guess those were harmless too. Oh, I think there's a ginger over there. Yep, there's a ginger in here. I'll get you, buddy. Two out of eight for the pink ones. Not too shabby. And where does this go? Jolly Rancher, the sea bottom. Now where or what could be? Oh my. I think I found the thing that took Jolly Roger's assistant. Like a giant vicious lionfish. Oh, cool, there's a warp pad over here that I can use. Whoa! Well, I don't wake you up better than coffee. <laughs> Where are you? You gotta blow it. Yeah, you gotta blow its teeth off. I'm definitely gonna need to restock on uh, on grenade eggs for when I go after the boss. Okay, got that tooth. Now for the last one. Okay, now we gotta go in. Ugh. Sounds like he's farting. Inside the big fish. Ahoy yourself! I hear a Jinjo. But which Jinjo is it? Friend or foe? Oh, it's a friend. 
One out of three for the gold ones. And what's... Ah, there's his... There's Jolly Roger's assistant. Ah, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of all Jolly Roger. I was out on one of Blubber's wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay here in here. That's lovely. It'll soon be happy hour at the inn, and Jolly will be needing some real relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. <laughs> Look at that walk cycle. Oh. Well, I got myself some red feathers. So I have more ammo for when I'm in the water and I need to do that torpedo thing with Kazooie. And there's no reason for us to be in here anymore. So let's get out of here. Gazoo tight. Oh, there's a jiggy that we can get right away from Jolly Roger. So I'll, I'll go ahead and warp back up to the inn and go get that. So I'll see you guys in a minute. And here we are. Thanks for rescuing my partner. Think nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Perhaps later. Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. And we got ourselves a jiggy. That we can help you out, Jolly. I think now I can actually get that Jiggy that's in the pawn shop over here. Let's go check that out. <laughs> Greetings, friend. The name's Pono. I'm the local pawn broker. We're interested in that Jiggy in the case. Ah, yes. A real nice pr piece, Circa B Banjo Kazooie, so I was told. I reckon 20 gold doubloons would be a fair tr price. 20 doubloons? We only want the jiggy, not your whole store. Or shop. It's still 20 doubloons for the, the jiggy. Would you like to buy it? What do you say? I. Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business with you, Pano. Thank you very much. Now we gotta restock on grenade eggs. There we go. <laughs> Looks like we're restocked fully. And what if I come back into the shop? The spot where the jiggy was is replaced with the Cheeto page. Hello again. How much for the worthless old page? Far from worthless, my friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you sure? Oh yes. I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I don't get quality like that in here every day. So I see. 
All right, we'll trade in five. Welcome back, Price. It would still be five doubloons. Do we have a sale? What do you say? Aye! Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. <laughs> Hope you're taking that. Nice. Okay, we're going to head back down into the water, and we're going to be doing a little bit more exploring. All right, we're back. And we're heading further into the depths. What do we have through here? Oh, hello. A globo, which can only mean we're right below Wumba's Wiggum. So we get to see what our form for this world is. What do we have? No warp pad, it seems. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes. Uh, by the way, Humba, your Wiggum's a bit flooded, in case you didn't notice. Or do you just not mind it? It's actually kind of weird how that we're still able to transform and the whole tent is not just like the pool that we change stuff in. And apparently I'm a submarine now. I'm gonna call this submarine. Use left stick to turn on spot. And A for much speed. Press X for sonic ping attack. Or LT or RT for torpedo attack. Yep, I'm a submarine now. So we're going to be checking out more of the place. Well, like this. I think I can see a tunnel. That's near the, the building that I went in to help with crispy bacon. I believe it's this way. Yeah, apparently the sonar attack, it freezes the octopuses. And I think I went the wrong way. So I need to go back. Sheesh. Yeah, I think it's this way, actually. I know that there's something down one of these tunnels. Well, this was the way to Humba's Wiggum. How did I get so turned around? Unless it's actually down this way I need to go. Yeah. I distinctly remember that the passageway to the next area had an octopus guarding it. Yeah, here we have a little something. Oh, there's a warp pad right here. Now, where... I think there's a way to get into this ship. Oh, yeah, right here. 
because there are secrets in here. Found a Jinjo. Two out of three of the gold ones. Not bad. And I shouldn't be too close. I wanted to see, just for the heck of it, if the torpedo could shoot off the Kazooie doors, but I guess not. And here we go. Back in the seat bottom again. And I got an achievement, Calamari Bonanza. <laughs> I love calamari, especially fried. Tastes like chicken, for those of you who've never had it. There's another warp pad here. A. Paulington. S. Felicia? G. Kirk Hop? I think? Yeah, Kirk Hop. Or Kirk Hope. Hmm. I know that you get to blast one of these lockers open. I was pretty sure it was one of them on the walls. Oh, stupid fish. A Connell. Oh, I think it's this one. Davy Jones Locker. Got the door off. Okay, we'll be checking that out in a little bit. But there's a mini game down here that we can play as the sub, so we're gonna check that out. Got down here at last, eh? How about trying my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points, and I might give you a prize. Do you need instructions? Yeah, might as well. I've littered this place with lovely mines which hopefully you'll run into. Destroy my mines to score ill-deserved points. Blue ones are worth three points, green ones get you two points, and only one point for the feeble red ones. Ready, three, two, one, go. Just fire like crazy. I have to earn 60 points. I'm surprised that didn't hurt me for being so close. in the hatch. Almost there. Sweet. All the way up to 70. 80. 90. Rats! You lucky so luckily scored enough points to win my prize. Cool, we got a jiggy. I just gotta find it. Where could she have placed it? There it is. You want to play again? Nah. I have my prize.
I have to count that jiggy. Oh well. Oh, whoops. Gotta get the honeycombs. Come on. Come on, Banjo. There we go. Where's the other one? Oh, this is where the sea beast was, where I saved Jolly's partner. Okay, I think that's enough of what we can do with the submarine for now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and change back and then go face the boss. So, I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, we are back, and we're heading into Davy Jones' locker. And this boss always freaked me out when I was a kid. Hey, Banjo, I can see a jiggy down there. Let's take a look. And this gives me Finding Nemo flashbacks. Lord Wu Fak 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 Fak. What? Who dares intrude on Lord Wu Fak Fak Wops in his app appalling cramped locker? Oh, uh, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't lie to me. You are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Something like that. Then a watery grave awaits you. Yeah, this guy's a little tricky to take on. But the important thing is to go after his blinking boils. He's got six of them. Got it. Aye! My precious, my precious boils. And he's got five more. There's one right there. Now he's got four more. Oh boy. Almost there. Okay, got that. Man, why does his music remind me of Gruntilda's music? Bet you he was a pet of hers that she flushed down the, to the toilet when she, she was a kid. Yeah, okay, he's got two more. One more. And that's that. Woo! Have you no sympathy hitting a poor blind fish? Time I open my eyes to see what I'm doing. All right now, this time I gotta hit him in the eyes. Oh, whoops. Ugh, he stunned me. What the heck, I can't even tell where I'm going. Gotta refill on grenade eggs. Oh, he trapped me in one of his bubbles. And he's letting me have it now. Gotta get more. Okay, this ought to be good enough. Er, 
please, not my eyes. Okay, that was a f another hit. I gotta get that other honeycomb. Get me. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Gotta dive down and refuel. Oh man, he's got me. He's got me. Oh hey, man, he's gonna get me. He's letting me have it. Gotta look out. Come on, big boy, turn around. Look at me. One more time. Ah oh, man, I was one hit away and he got me. I'm gonna try that again. I'll bring you guys back once I've gotten him down to one more hit. Okay, I've almost got him. Yes, I got him. Finally. Whew. Curses. Things seem to have gone belly up. 100 years of ocean oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. Yeah, that's what you get, Blubber. Whew. Yeah, this guy was not one of my favorites when I played the game for the first time. But, we made it. And I'm gonna head on out and get some health, and then I'll probably call it an episode here. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, that was certainly an episode. And honestly, I think that that boss that I faced was not one of my favorites from Banjo-Tooie. And also, I think he's probably one of the most controversial kids game bosses in existence. Because, I mean, you don't know how to quite say his name. His name is Lord Wu, but what are the other two parts of his name? Do you spawn it, pronounce it as Fak Fak or Fak Fak? Because his name sounds too much like the like a dirty word. I don't know who came up with that when they were designing Banjo-Tooie, but that was actually a serious no-no on their parts, if you ask me. I mean, just imagine, like, kids back then, when they were playing this game, they were like, Oh man, I almost beat... No, they're like, Oh yeah, I just beat Lord Wu Fak Fak! And their parents were like, Oh my goodness, we're never running this game again! <laughs> it's pretty funny to think about when I say it out loud like that. But anyway, <clears throat> that was a pretty fun episode, overall. And next time, we're probably going to be heading into my favorite level of Banjo-Tooie. So, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. I'll be leaving links in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.